Hey, it's me again, Stephen Flynn from uh, BCM215. And this video, I'm going to be talking about Battlefield 5. An awful game, in my opinion, and a big disappointment. So, um, Battlefield 1 was a game I played a lot. I still play it today. I don't know. I just remember, like, I played the beta too, and that was really fun. And honestly, it's one of the best games I've ever played, I'd say. In terms of, like, historical accuracy, which I think they nailed pretty well, and just the general game mechanics. I just feel like it's a smooth game where you, there's a lot you can do with it, a lot of choices, you know. All the weapons kind of stand out on their own too, which I think is kind of hard for a game to do today, especially when you compare it to one like the Call of Duty games, where you can only use like a couple of guns in multiplayer without being at a disadvantage. But anyways, let me talk a little bit about when it first dropped. I remember I was in seventh grade, I was pulling up to school, and we, you know, we were waiting outside for them to let us in. And my friend, he was showing me this trailer. He's like, you got to watch this for the new Battlefield game. And I had never heard about Battlefield before this, actually. So then I saw this trailer, oh, a short, like, one-minute trailer. <laughs> and it was an awesome trailer. Like, still to this day, that's probably the best video game trailer I've ever seen. And they had Seven Nation Army playing in the background. They were showing these crazy scenes. Um, I don't know, just some, some kind of wild stuff. And, you know, a lot of people don't know a lot about World War I kind of gets overshadowed by World War II. So just to kind of like, I don't know, the trailer showed pretty well like the changes to mechanized combat and whatnot. You know, because it showed like people on horses fighting and showed these crazy biplane duels. Just the kind of stuff, you know, you don't really see because, well, I guess they don't have many pictures of it out there really. But anyways, so I downloaded the beta and when I played that and it only had one map and like half the guns it has now, but the beta was awesome. I just remember like loving the battlefield aspect of it, the wide map, just like the large scale feeling of it. I mean, it felt large scale, but you never felt like you were really too far away from anybody. Like it was easy enough to get around. You kind of knew where the action was. I don't know. It's just a great game. And you know, I downloaded the actual game, played it a lot. Uh, I still play it today. So when I heard about Battlefield Five coming out, I was pretty excited. You know, another game. This one's set in World War Two. And I imagine Battlefield 1 was so good, this game's newer, it can't be worse. But, you know, then I saw the trailer, and just, I don't know, I remember at the end of crew practice, me and my brother, my friend Luke, we all watched the trailer together, and I don't know, we were just, just so disappointed right away. Because comparing that to the Battlefield 1 trailer, it was know, a world of difference. Like, they had no music in it, they didn't really have any cutaways, it was kind of confusing what was going on. They showed this weird kind of half-gameplay mode towards the end where it got all first person but it was like first person trying to look like gameplay but the kind of stuff that they were doing in the trailer you wouldn't do in any gameplay like the person's got an lmg they shoot two two bullets and then they reload they shoot a little bit more and then they switch to a pistol for no reason to pull out some more shots and then they pull out the lmg again like what it's just i don't know there's like cars falling down planes coming out of the sky I, I don't know, it just didn't look like an actual game when I was watching it. But, you know, I still pre-ordered the game because I was excited for it. And I remember the day it came out, I played it for, I don't know, two to three hours. And I never touched the game after that. I just, I don't know, I didn't, I guess I didn't give it a fair chance, but I just hated the feel of it. I went straight back to Battlefield 1. To me, I don't know, just the faster kill times, the the less health regen, and... The focus on the squad base, like squad player activity, which I guess is cool if you're playing with like three other friends and you're all playing different classes, but I don't, I don't know who really plays the game like that, you know? I, I just felt like you really couldn't go off in your own, like you couldn't be of one. And the maps, you know, the movement was, I guess like the concentration of people were all off. It seemed like everyone was just going to one spot, two spots. To me, it kind of felt like a Call of Duty game, just on like a much larger map that didn't really fit. And yeah, I mean, the game still still is a pretty active player base today. It's probably got more active players in Battlefield 1, but I just chalk that up to it being a newer game, you know? I mean, and it really only beats out Battlefield 1 by an average of, like, I think, like, 2,000 players. So it's really not that big of a margin either, and I think Battlefield 1 will, will definitely outlast it. But yeah, that's my take on the game. Terrible game, if you ask me. <laughs> Well, I don't know, I wouldn't say a terrible game, but just comparing it to Battlefield 1, which is, has a special place in my heart, uh, 
it just really didn't hold up my expectations and it was not worth the pre-order i'll tell you that much all right thanks for watching have a good one